Halo, Sobat Medcom. Semoga selalu dilimpahi kesehatan ya, baik fisik maupun psikis. Saya, Chris Pen Pakpahan, bakal ngobrol bareng salah satu musisi sekaligus produser musik asal Amerika Serikat. Anak muda yang viral lewat media sosial ini bernama Dallas Cotton atau Yang B. Nah, Yang B ini sering kali membawakan lagu-lagu yang 80-an, City Pop Music sebutannya, dan baru-baru ini dia membuat lagu yang terinspirasi dari Olimpiade Tokyo. Yuk, kita ngobrol bareng dia. Hello, Yang B. I'm Chris Pen from medcom.id. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm so glad can interview you through Zoom. No, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Okay, I have a few questions for you. Sure. In this pandemic situation, what are your activities? Are you spending more time on yourself or create songs or do you have new hobbies? Uh, right now it's just been a lot of video games. Uh, no, I, but besides that, I'm like, I really haven't had a lot of free time. I've just been in and out of the studio lately, every day. So yeah, it's pretty much just been that, all music. Oh, nice. Let me know about your songs. Can you explain to us why so many of your songs is influenced by Japanese music? Uh, I mean, it was just kind of one of the early things I'd stumbled upon too. Like I remember uh, kind of hearing City Pop for the first time. Like I remember, I think I heard Sparkle by like Tatsuri Yamashita. Uh, it was one of the first ones and I was like, oh my gosh, there's just something about it. Like it was just such a warm, I don't know, it, it's like the progressions that they use, like the voicings, because it's kind of jazzy, but it's like, that was kind of my first introduction to like jazz and disco as well. So that was like, that truly did it for me. Wow, it's so nice to know. I heard that you just released your new song, Silver and Gold. Congratulations for that. Oh, would thank you, you yes would you mind to share what is the songs about yeah it was it actually originally wasn't even gonna be written around it um, but we made a sample from scratch uh, the one you hear in the song and it was a completely different song that we'd originally written out it was like very slow very r b and then uh i was re-chopping the sample one day And I was like, oh, this is kind of sick. And we ended up leaving the vocal in there, the silver and gold in there. And then we just kind of built off that. And it was just kind of like, you know, uh, like, okay, let's write like a really communal track about how, you know, good it is to come together. And then, uh, you know, cue like the Olympics time too. We're like, hey, this kind of fits in as well, you know, because it's, I look at that and I'm like, oh, this is very communal, very fun, very, you know, inviting and warm and exciting. So it felt like it paired really well. Oh, sounds great. Do you have any expectation when people hearing your new song? If you do, what is the expectations? Uh, you know, I'm just hoping it makes them happy. It's, it's just, you know, makes me happy. We had a blast making it, so I'm hoping they get the same warm feeling, you know, when they hear it as well for the first time and, you know, kind of hear like the horns and everything and yeah. Wow, it's very inspiring. So people can get the spirit, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, uh, you are known as a person who often remixes 80s songs. Why are you so in love with city pop music? Uh, it's like I was saying before, just because it's so warm and I don't know, it's, it's just so happy, fun and inviting. And it's kind of like a different take on disco itself too, because it was so... Uh, it was almost late to the game in a sense. Uh, not in a bad way, but it's like when disco kind of hit like Japan and that scene had been around for a few years, it seems like. And they were able to kind of like take that sound and give their own spin to it, which is what really like draws, you know, me and most people in is it's like, wow, this is kind of like the cool elements of disco, you know, and not as corny and just like it's Yeah, it's just really got its own spin and twist and it's my favorite. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, the next question. You collaborated with Demi Lovato, Jessie J and Sam Fisher, right? 
Do you have any plan to do collaborations with other singers or projects maybe? Uh, yeah, a lot of friends. Uh, I can't give away too much, but yeah, a lot of collaborators on the album, a lot of features, people I haven't worked with before. So yeah, old and new. Okay, um, I can't wait to hear another outstanding project for you, Yangbe. Yeah, no, I'm very excited to put it out. And, uh, it sounds like it's going to be soon. Can you give a, give us a hint? Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, But... It's kind of like, it's me kind of taking my future funk sound and for the most part, um, there's only a few samples on the album. I'd say a good like 80% of it is just everything we've written from scratch and kind of flipped into our own way and re-recorded with like, you know, live musicians and done all this. So it's kind of how could I take, you know, my take on sampling and like really translate that to, uh, you know, my original sound. And, you know, it, it, it feels like I've finally kind of honed in sonically on what I want for like my sound design and just what I've been aiming for since I started the project. Uh, so yeah, it feels like a real extension of what I've been wanting to really like achieve since I started producing. Okay. By the way, your nickname is Yang Be. I'm curious, why do you choose Yang Be as your stage name? Uh, I think it was right around the time like Young Lean was uh, like a super prevalent figure like on the internet and yeah, I think it was, yeah, it was pretty much just that and I was like, wow, Young Bay, I was like, that sounds pretty cute and then it's funny now I find out it's like uh, quite actually like a very real name and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like, wow, I see the confusion now sometimes. <laughs> wow, that's a unique <laughs> name. As far as I know, you have visited Indonesia in 2019. Can we know what do you think about Indonesia? Oh my gosh, so much fun. Also, like that was one of the biggest cities I think I've ever seen or been in. It's massive. Oh my gosh, but it was so much fun. We okay, I have to brag about the the coffee. Are you kidding me? The Indonesian coffee is so good. I remember me and my tour manager sitting down at a restaurant and just we were like, yeah, we'll take uh, three pots of coffee and just loving it. It was like that, the food. Uh, last time we were out there was for a festival too. So it was like really cool to bump into people we knew out there and walk around there and meet everybody. So yeah, it's every time I've been there, it's been a blast. What kind of coffee do you remember? I don't remember. I usually just drink like black coffee. So I was like, I was like, give me something. I was like, wake me up, wake me up real good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, about Indonesia, thank you very much. I'm so happy to hear that. And I hope you can come back to Indonesia really soon. Yeah, I'm really hoping too that, you know, uh, we can be back overseas too. Hoping everything opens up again soon. Okay, how about Indonesian music? I haven't heard much or learned much. But I heard you guys do have like a really cool take on kind of city pop and disco as well. Yambe, have you ever ate Indonesian food? What Indonesian food do you like? Uh, I really don't remember what I had last time there. I remember we had, I don't remember what dish we had, but I remember we went into the restaurant or hotel and I was like, hey, what is like the go-to Indonesian food? And I can't remember what, because we tried two or three dishes, but I really don't remember. Uh, just because I think we were coming off of like a full month-long Asia tour at the time. And I was like, I could not remember anything at that point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Next time when you visit Indonesia, you should try another Indonesian food, right? Yeah. Um, Yang Be, for the last question. Um, do you ever heard any Indonesian music or singers? Do you have in mind who would you like to know more and maybe change to collaborate with? Yeah, I would love to learn more and collaborate and, you know, hopefully next time I'm out there, maybe even like get in and get in the studio with some of them. Uh, I think it'd be a ton of fun. Okay, Yangbe, thank you for the interview, for your time. It means a lot for me and also for your friends here in Indonesia. 
Definitely. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I really hope you can come back soon here. Same. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Bye, Yang B. Stay healthy. Bye. Have a good day. Nah, itu tadi ngobrol kita bareng Yang B. Sampai jumpa di ngobrol selanjutnya bareng narasumber lainnya. Stay safe, teman-teman. Bye.